Here's a little useful information about uh, painting faces in oil pastel. Um, my advice, first of all, is start simply. I've started with a pencil sketch and I've added just a little bit of light gray so I can very subtly get a feeling for my lights and darks. So I've put in a little bit of shadow. I may take my white and just apply some highlights where I think the brighter areas of the face are going to be the forehead, protrudes, the nose, protrudes, maybe some on the bottom of the lip. So as I work, hopefully the picture is starting to get a little glow, develop a little bit of form. And it, the white will also make my other colors a little bit more blendable. I've already put a little bit of black in the eyes. I like to do that because it just makes the picture more alive as I work on it. I'm going to have my light coming a little bit from the left. And after adding some light tones, I'm going to work with adding just a small amount of peachy color. As you work, you want to follow the shape. Very, very lightly add color. Very, very slowly, carefully, in kind of a circular motion so it doesn't become too linear. If you feel that it does, doing the same thing with some white on top of it will help. I'm just applying the first layer a little bit under the eyes, on the eyelids, on top of the gray also because it'll soften the harshness of the gray and start to develop some more flesh tone shadows under the lip, towards the bottom of the chin, leaving a little bit of glow under the other eye. Just little by little developing some of the facial tone. Where it's more shadowy, you may add a little deeper, stronger color, so some of the cooler tones. Where it's a little bit uh, lighter, you might in fact add a little bit of yellow to warm the skin. Right now it may look a little bit patchy when you begin, but remember you're building it little by little, trying to get a smooth effect. The paper you use should also be as smooth as possible because the bumpiness will take away from what you're trying to accomplish. I'll add a little bit of pink into the lip area, some of the rosy pink along the edge of the cheeks. You can use your finger for blending to get the first look about how your shading and your tones are developing. All I'm trying to do at this point is establish some warm areas where there's more light, some cooler, darker areas where there's less light. So more yellows where it's brighter, some deeper, more brown tones or gray tones, or even a little bit of blue where it's darker. Once I've added the first layer, you'll come back again and change direction with your pastel and continue to build up using the colors you had previously. And eventually, this first light transparent portrait hopefully will develop with some more rich tones, a more polished look. You'll notice how I left some glow around the edges and I've tried to use some of the tones I used in the skin in the hair as well. I've added a little bit of color to the eyes. I've added the hair color on top of the gray of the eyebrows. Um, I've used the, the stump blending for where I need to get in some tighter areas. And once you feel confident about how you've developed the, the skin tones and the hair and the proportions of the person, you want to think about um, what you can do with the portrait to make it more individual or, or more interesting in terms of setting. Here's an example of a pastel painting where the portrait isn't even in the center of the work. It's off to the side because the setting is an important part of uh, showing something about the person. You can see we've tried to include the colors that we used in the setting, even though this is a person with flesh-colored tones, we want to include some of the blues and other things that we've put in the setting in the face of the person as well.